Hey game devs, Dan here with You Contribute Games, and in today's video, we're going to talk about getting and setting your variables in the Health Manager script from other scripts. All right, so today we're talking about how variables within our health manager can be adjusted from outside our health manager. So an example of when you may want to do this is, let's say, for example, your player levels up and you want to increase their max health, or you need to know the player's current health because an object within your game world only triggers if your player's at half of their maximum health. Right. So these are instances where another script or another manager within your game is going to want to either update a variable within your health manager or know the value of a variable within your health manager. And we could easily do that by setting those variables to public and allowing them to just say change those anytime they want to. But let's close our eyes and imagine you're six months into your game development process and you're testing out your game, all of a sudden you start noticing your player's health is automatically adjusting to uh, 180. And you have no idea why. And it's just this odd little glitch that you can't figure out. You've written 20,000 lines of code within your game, and somewhere within that 20,000 lines of code over 50 scripts is a update to this function. Now you can search and find for that one little value and then figure out why that's there and how to change it and where it needs to update. Right now think of the headache you're going to go through doing that. Now let's think about the same issue starts popping up, but you know that there's only one way that health value can adjust. And that's because somebody called the set max health function within your health manager. So now you have 50 different scripts and all you need to do is a search and find for set max health in each of those to see where those different variable, those calls are and to see which one adjusts that value to 180 and problem solved, right? So that's what we're doing with this functionality. The get and set allows us to control how our variables get updated and how you find out what the values of those variables are, right? So we're just ensuring that only the health manager can adjust these values and we use the get and set function to tell other scripts what these values are and to allow them to request a change to them. So to do that for our variables within our health manager, we're going to adjust our max health and current health by using a set max health function and a get max health function. Then for the current health, we're going to use a set current health function and a get current health function. Now we have a very straightforward setup for these to where when a, someone calls our set max health function, they'll provide an integer value and we simply update the max health variable within our health manager to whatever that new max health is. Now we could add some very elaborate checks and balances around that to say if the value is greater than this or less than this and, you know, and, and even lock that down even further. Um, but for our health manager, we within this example, we really don't need to do that. Um, same thing with our set current health. We have a very straightforward, you know, the requester is going to send a new current health value. We're going to set the current health within the health manager to that new current health. And for the get max health and get current health, when you call health manager dot get max health or health manager dot get current health, it simply returns that integer value for those variables, all right? Um, and that's really how we're going to lock that down. Now, if you're an experienced coder, you're probably saying, well, isn't this just properties? Didn't you take a private variable and some public functions and make a, a, a property out of it? And, and the answer is yes. You know, this functionality is very similar to how properties in C Sharp work, but it's going to be an easier concept for a novice coder or a beginning coder to understand how the, the, the concept works and how that variable is locked down as private and how you're only 
updating that by calling these functions. Now, if you're an experienced coder, you can go ahead and switch this over to a property very easily. Um, but that's going to be it for our get and set functionality. All right, guys, I'm going to blow this up real big on screen, give you a few moments to type this up, hit that pause button if you need to. And this is for all of those folks that are following along, typing up this as we go and building out your own health manager. Now, if you'd like your very own copy of the health manager demo, including the script, all of the art assets, the scene in which it's all combined and put together. You can click the link right here down in the description and it's gonna take you to uh, a location where you can obtain that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. That is the end, but don't let the fun stop here. In our next video, we're going to cover some more of our health manager. But if you love the content, guys, go ahead and click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Hit us up on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Check out youcontributegames.com. Join the newsletter. Be the first to know when all of the awesome content comes out. See you later.